Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson. We're continuing our study of 2 Timothy. We're in chapter 3, verse 10. This is the last letter Paul wrote and um, before his death, calling Timothy to be with him in Rome before he's executed. I think it's clear, and we'll talk about this when we get to the end of this and transition to our study of 2 Peter. It's clear that uh, Timothy got to Rome. What is not clear is whether or not he got there before Paul died. But in chapter 3, verses 1 through 9, he's talking about the way things are starting to be and will continue to be into the future. Um, and he talked, talked about these, these, you know, how evil and charismatic these narcissistic false teachers are and the effect that they have. And um, of course, the last times are marked by this, but all times are marked by this. When, when, when were there not people that fit this description in in human in human history? From the garden on, you know, um, there 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 seem to have always been people who fit who fit this description. And of course, in the verses we're about to read, we'll know that the way things are is the way things were, and the way things will always be. Um, one thing that he says in verse nine that we didn't get to yesterday was that these kinds of people will always be exposed. And who they are will always be evident. They cannot, um, people with their eyes open will not be susceptible to, to their charisma and to their false teaching. Okay, let's pick up with verse 10. Verse 10 through verse 17, he's applying He's applying um, the, the, um, um, uh, these facts to Timothy now. He's saying this is the way things are becoming. This is the way they are going to be in, in, from now on. Therefore, you need to do this. And then in verses 16 and 17, he's going to, he's going to transition so smoothly into chapter 4. In fact, they're not even transitions. I, I would like to call them locks or weavings, because he really is throughout, as he moves from one theme to the other, you know, they, they just they just weave together, and they're t they hold together tightly. One doesn't abruptly end, and then the other, but they, they curl around each other. And, and so 16 and 17 directly connect both sections, and, and, and connect, and tie them together, weave them together in that way. Let's read um, verses 10 through 17. But you followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, perseverance. Another list. Pa persecutions, sufferings, such as happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, and out of all of them the Lord delivered me, and indeed all who desire to live godly in Christ will be persecuted. But evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. You, however, continue in the things you have learned and become convinced of, knowing from whom you have learned them. He's connecting all the way back to the first verses of chapter 1. And that from childhood, you have known the sacred writings, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, in, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God, is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Um, we talked a, while, a couple of sessions ago about how that middle section was a chiasm, how the first part through the middle part was a chiasm, and talked about how Paul, you know, um, and this, this genius level IQ, um, you know, may have easily written something so emotional while just putting it in this structure. Um, but there's structure upon structure upon structure. There's the weaving together of thoughts and themes and ideas. There is the way that it is a line from the start to the finish. There is the way that it is a chiasm, 
making a, a cross and 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 there's also the way it is a circle and it comes all the way back around to the thing that he says and of course when we see structure upon structure upon structure which we can find in almost any scripture if we look hard enough this is the signature of the holy spirit this is the the, the word being fully human paul's letter and fully divine the inspired word of god which of course is what this passage this this pericope this section ends with um i want us to want you to notice uh, you this is who you what you have been doing and what you need to continue to do and he talks about following his teaching conduct purpose patience faith love perseverance so patience and perseverance the others are are the um the good virtues that we express in, from inside out patience and perseverance long suffering um so now then we end with persecutions and sufferings it's all one list all of it all of it is the same thing together and it's going to connect with what he says in verse 12 that it's part of normal christian life to suffer persecutions and 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 sufferings and he mentions things that they have experienced together he talks about Antioch and Iconium. I'm not sure exactly what he's talking about there, but Timothy knows. But I know what happened at Lystra. Lystra and Derby, Timothy's hometown. He was stoned and left outside the city as dead and got back up and went back in the city after they'd stoned him and left him for dead. Timothy was there for all that. You know this. You saw it happen. You've already shared with me in sufferings and persecutions. Don't stop now. And then he says in verse 12, all who desire to live godly in Christ will be persecuted. Put that on a, a fortune cookie and, and keep it in your wallet. Um, not the cookie, but the message. Uh, because it's always going to be true. And verse 13 is always going to be true. Evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. They're always going to be here. They're going to believe their own lies, the lies of others, and they're going to get others to believe the lies that they tell, knowing that they're lies. That's always going to be the case until, I, until Jesus comes again. But that shouldn't change you. It shouldn't make you hard. It shouldn't make you bitter. It shouldn't make you afraid. It shouldn't make you timid. You keep doing what you, you keep loving. You keep being gentle. You keep standing your ground. You keep enduring, you keep being patient, you keep doing all those things without being weakened. Well, cause you are raised right. Your grandma, your mom, and me, we've given you scripture, and scripture is power. And remember when Paul said in 215, you need to be a, a workman that's a that, that that's approved, that that the that, that ministry is a craft. And a lot like like stone cutting is a craft, like carpentry is a craft, like like tent making is a craft. And you have your tools and you use those tools to do a good job with your raw material, be it stone or wood or leather. Our raw material is the word of God as ministers. And he says that the scripture itself gives you the tools you need. You, you have the complete set of tools. All scripture is breathed out by God. When we hear inspire, we think of inspiration and artistic inspiration. And, and But we also know that expire is to breathe out. We know that respiration is breath. And to inspire is to, is to breathe in. All scripture is breathed by God. And, and that would have been the first thing they think about. The breath of God. The breath of God that gives life. That gave life to Adam. The, the, this word is alive with the breath of God, and it fully equips us for everything so that we are ready, we're prepared, we're, we're equipped for every every good work. He talks about teaching, reproof, correction, training, and righteousness. That list is going to connect with the list he gives in chapter 4, verse 2. We'll talk about that next time when we get to his solemn charge. Thank you for joining me for another 10 good minutes with the word.